Hello everybody, welcome to You Suck at Cooking. Um, the whole idea of this is we cook meals from the other side of the pond. So as I am a British man in Britain, I am going to be cooking something from America. Uh, I am Jamie from You Suck Chronicles and in the first edition of this, I am going to make what you guys voted on our fan page, biscuits and gravy. Let's see how this goes, shall we? So the first thing I did is I headed over to the old Google machine, looked for a recipe. BBC food could not go wrong. Uh, not going to lie, I wasn't expecting half of these ingredients. Like cayenne pepper in breakfast food. All right. So what do you do when you get a recipe? You go write down what you need. Luckily, I had quite a lot of it. And off to Asda we go. Or as you guys might call it, Walmart. Because, you know, Walmart owns Asda. So yeah, off we go. With my shopping list in hand, let's get what we need, eh, boys? So first off, it's the biscuits. There's all our ingredients. We're ready to go. And falling at the first hurdle, what the fuck is a cup in grams? God damn, can't we just be universal? So here it is. Here is my dough, and that's my confused face. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's very wet and sticky. It's like stickier than my ex-wife. Um. I couldn't film myself making the dough, but there it is anyway. So here it is now. I've rolled it out to best I can. Well, I say rolled it out. I squished it down my fingers because it was so fucking sticky. And then I got my cutter out. And then, like the small kid in my basement, I cut that bitch up. And there we go. We're going to get four perfect circles out of it. I'm not going to lie. I almost had a major temper tantrum of this and threw it across the goddamn wall. But here we go. I, I think I did quite well for my first go, going in completely blind and not having a goddamn clue what I was doing. But, like I say, four perfect circles. Whether they look that way when they come out of the oven, you'll see. But, for my first attempt, I was quite proud. But yeah, this stuff is absolutely vile to deal with. So, you know what we give it? We give it the middle fingers. Because, fuck this thing. Pain in the ass stuff. Anyway, so here they are, on the tray, going in the oven. You may have noticed there's an added one there, I ended up using the rest of the dough. So off you pop, go into my oven that comes from the 1930s, at least it looks like it anyway. And then I go to make the gravy. Here is a video of me really wishing that I'd broken up the mince before I put it in the pan. I really don't like cooking in butter, but, you know, I thought I'm going to be sticking to the recipe, I'm doing it as I'm supposed to do. But there we go, breaking it up. And with a little bit of movie magic... Watch this, watch this, here we go. Boom, it's cooked. Yeah, Hollywood, motherfucker. Anyway, let's go back to the 1930s oven. And let's check on them biscuits. How did they come out? I think I did a pretty damn good job. See, there's my face looking all approving and nodding and stuff. I reckon they're going to look pretty damn good. On to the next bit, kids. Right, so I needed to make a roux for the sauce, but me being me, I couldn't remember how to make a goddamn roux. So, there's me trying to think about it. What I did is I went to my friend Google. Thank you very much, Google, you helpful son of a bitch. That reminded me. Um, but first things first, I forgot the bacon. Fuck, let's get that in. Anyway, couldn't film myself making a roux, but there it is. There's the sauce. I think it looks pretty good. At least, that's what I think. I have no idea if it's supposed to look like that, but hey-ho, there we go. But there we go. Biscuits and gravy. It's alright. Anyway, taste test time. Right. We've got biscuit, we've got gravy. And then a big cup. Mmm. Mmm. There's a point to the USA. Oh, damn. So it's uh, been a few days since the old uh, sausages and gravy. Sausages and gravy, fuck me, I can tell I'm British. Let's try it on again, shall we? It's been a few days since the biscuits and gravy. Um, I wanted to let my palate digest and think about what I had eaten. Well, basically, I'd found the time to do it. Anyway, I enjoyed that a lot. It was spicier than I was expecting. But I don't know if that's because I messed up the recipe or it's supposed to be spicy. I guess, I guess it's got cayenne pepper in it. It's supposed to be spicy. One thing I will say, though, America... That's not breakfast food. Sorry, it's not. It's nice. It'd be great for lunch, which is what I had it for. Or for tea, maybe. But for breakfast. No. You weird people, you. But either way, true delicacy. Really enjoyed that. 
Mine probably looked and tasted nothing like it's supposed to. I've never even seen them before, bar a little picture. But I've never tasted it before. I knew nothing about it. I didn't even pre-read the recipe or anything. Well, apart from the ingredients, that's it. I literally did it as I was going along because I wanted to be authentic. But I really enjoyed making that. Contrary to what you might have said in that video, I did enjoy making it. Um, please let me know if you want us to do any more of these. If you want one of the other guys to do one of these, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my food. And let me know if what else you want me to try and make. Because, I, like I said, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, while you're here, though, go check out all the other videos on our YouTube channel. All of the, mine and Tom's interviews for Usuk Chronicles are on here. There's plenty of content from the other shows as well. Please enjoy. And, yeah, give us a feedback. Cheers, guys. Mwah!